Hi, my name's Phil Gardner and welcome to Fun With Boxes. Today, I'm taking a look at a very small card game that was only just fulfilled via its Game Fun campaign. And that game is Aethermon Collect from the Australian publisher Aethermon Studios. And here it is, Aethermon Collect. As I said, a very small box game that says it's a quick to play two to four player set collection game with both cooperative and competitive game modes. Before we take a look at how it plays, let's take a fun with boxes look at what I got with my deluxe pledge. In Ethermon Collect, players take turns to move the shared group token horizontally or vertically around a grid of Ethermon cards, collecting any Ethermon on which they land. Cooperative mode has players working together in order to solve the unique puzzle presented by the board and to score as many points as they can. Whilst the competitive mode introduces powerful rule bending artifacts which you can use to outwit your opponents with one use only actions that can impact on movement or gameplay, collect the most points and win the game. The game features 48 wonderfully illustrated Aethermon creature cards that all have their Aethermon world lore written out on the back of the card, plus 12 game-changing artifact cards, along with a rather splendid acrylic standee. The game designers say the game is a quick-to-play, two-to-four player set collection game, and that's exactly what you get. This is a very light and simple game. So you really need to understand that before jumping in and picking up a copy. For some people, this may be a bit of a put off as they may feel there's not much of a game here because it is so quick and so light. But there is a little more to this than first meets the eye. You set up a grid based on the number of players as shown on this card. Here I have separated out all the cards into four elements for a two player game and set up a five by five grid with a gap in the center where we place the joint player standee token. Okay, here is how you play the game and this will not take me long at all to explain. On your turn, you move the joint player token orthogonally. That's my way of pronouncing the word that means move up or down or left and right. And you can stop at a card which you would pick up and add to your collection, face up in front of you. And the next player does the same, collecting a card if they land on one. And so this continues until the game ends, and this differs depending on the mode you play. The co-op game ends immediately if no one collects the card on their turn, whereas the competitive game ends if all players have not collected a card on their turn. At that point, the higher score wins for competitive, and for co-op, you are aiming to score as many points as possible. And that's it. Like I say, super light and super quick to play. It's worth noting that there's no traditional rules booklet included in the box. Instead, you have a number of cards with all the rules written on. This can be a little jarring when you are so used to reading rule books, but it works well enough and all the cards are numbered, so just make sure you read them in order. And here are some of the cards for you to see. This number is the point value, which you will score at the end of the game. This icon is their element, and these icons tell you how many Aethermon there are in a set. There are single Aethermons, and then there are sets of Aethermons, in sets of two or three cards. If you manage to collect all the Aethermon belonging to the same set, then you double the points you score for the cards in that set. So, there you have it. Not much of a game as such, you may think. It is a quick, light set collection game, which we could finish very, very quickly. The box states 15 minutes playtime, but with two players, we finished it in about five, six minutes. But what I would say is, and this did surprise me, this was actually fun. Yes, it's light and there's not much to it, but it was actually quite fun to play. And I must admit, I wanted to play it again as soon as we finished it. The artifacts add more of a gaming element to it because you can change things up with their one-off abilities, so this does make it more of a game. 
add into the fact the artwork is great and eye-catching and each creature has a lot of lore on the back of each card which is fun and interesting to read and this is a nice little fun simple game there was a small 18 card expansion pack as part of the crowdfunding campaign and with this you get a player tracker card five new artifact cards five campaign missions four character direction trackers and a solo mode to play as well these all add extra gameplay elements to elevate the game and to make it more interesting especially with the campaign missions and a solo mode is always welcome in my book and to be honest i'm looking forward to future releases in the aethermon world what intrigues me is that they have clearly developed a whole world of interesting creatures and lore that makes this feel more like a teaser game for something perhaps much bigger coming out on the horizon as they mentioned there could be a co-op roguelike rpg game coming soon and there you have it a very very light small set collection card game that is actually fun to play as so long as you understand that before playing don't forget this is not a complex involved game it's just simply fun to play and it has competitive cooperative and solo modes that really work well along with great artwork and some very interesting lore to read about the creatures of Aethermon. This is a fine filler game and worth keeping an eye out for a retail release in the future. So thanks for watching and please take care. Bye for now.